so we've been talking about Xbox Live coming to Switch. We've been talking about that rumor about the Xbox Game Pass coming to Switch. Uh, so a lot of stuff about Xbox stuff coming over to Switch, coming over to Nintendo consoles. Well, today we actually have some stuff coming out that looks like some Nintendo stuff has shown up on Xbox consoles. A few days ago, someone sent me an image of Marina uh, from Splatoon 2 appearing on their Xbox dashboard. It was a little tough to spot, but if you look closely in the background, that's definitely Marina from Splatoon 2. And this was on an Xbox console, so there's a Nintendo character showing up in the background of the Xbox console. This is the first we've seen of this. Then today, a bunch of people were messaging me over on my Twitter about how they saw Lucina, Inkling, Peach, and Isabel showing up on the Mixer tab part of the Xbox console. So, like, yeah, the Mixer tab has Nintendo characters in the background of it. This is pretty interesting. I mean, we haven't had anything Nintendo on Xbox like this before. It's, it's kind of crazy. Now this is just the Mixer tab, and supposedly this has something to do with like Women's History Month, so they're just showing a bunch of female game characters, but still, you'd think they'd choose characters that were actually from games on the Xbox console and not a bunch of Nintendo characters, but there they are, a bunch of Nintendo characters on an Xbox console. This is kind of crazy, and yeah, it does add a little bit more fuel to the fire for that whole rumor about Nintendo and Xbox doing a bunch of partnership stuff. Now, the first time this was spotted, it was Marina from Splatoon 2. So, you know, that's a character from Splatoon 2. But this time, all of the female characters shown here are characters from Super Smash Brothers, specifically even using their renders. I've heard a lot of people asking, does this confirm a Microsoft rep in Smash? I don't know if it confirms it, but I was already on board with that. I think a lot of people are, and considering how much it seems Nintendo and Microsoft are now working together, I'd say that a Microsoft character coming to Smash is pretty darn likely. If this uh, doesn't confirm it, it definitely at least adds more to it. Something adds more to something that was already very, very likely. Now, the other interesting news I just heard is that, supposedly, we might be getting Beautiful Joe back. That's a series I loved on the GameCube, so it'd be really awesome if this is true. This is coming from Polar Panda, who's been pretty good about leaks lately, so I'll read what she has to say. Over on Twitter, Polar Panda wrote, It sounds like Beautiful Joe isn't dead. I'll provide updates when I can. Then Polar Panda was talking about it over on my Discord channel and uh, said Platinum and Capcom are working together, implying that those are the two companies that would be making Beautiful Joe. That's pretty interesting. I'm a really big Beautiful Joe fan, so I'd be absolutely ecstatic about getting another entry in that series. Uh, Polar Panda was also talking about how this was something that had been talked about kind of by a bunch of people, kind of as a rumor for a while here. Now that Polar Panda has heard it from multiple different sources, uh, they said that they were more comfortable talking about it openly. So yeah, we might be getting Beautiful Joe back, which would be absolutely awesome. So that's basically it. Not a super long video here, but some pretty interesting stuff. We have Nintendo characters showing up on Xbox, and we have Beautiful Joe, a game series possibly coming back. So that'd be awesome. Uh, speaking of game series coming back, uh, I just want to talk about this real quick. Uh, this game series has come back, Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Um, yeah, this game came out the other day, and I've just been playing it nonstop. I'm a huge Toe Jam and Earl fan from back in the day, and yeah, this game's great, so this was like a Kickstarter and stuff, and I just want to strongly recommend it. Uh, it was $20, and I've again, I've been playing it like nonstop. If you're a fan of the original Toe Jam and Earl, you'll be a fan of this game. It's really awesome, so yeah, I would, I would check that out if you're a fan. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, do you think that having these Nintendo characters, specifically these Smash renders, show up on Xbox means anything? Or do you think it's, you know, it's just the Mixer tab? It does appear to just be for, like, Women's History Month and stuff, so maybe they just grabbed, you know, classic, famous uh, video game characters and grabbed as many female ones as they could, put them in the background, and that was that. Didn't really think about them being Nintendo or not. Or do you think this does kind of solidify that Nintendo and Microsoft are really close, and specifically Smash has now been seen um, you know, on the Xbox. Smash renders are now on the Xbox, so do you think that means Smash is coming to Xbox? I don't know if I'd go that far, uh, but do you think a uh, Xbox or Microsoft character could be coming to Smash for DLC? Personally, I've been thinking that for a while now, so I don't know, Steve, Banjo, maybe both? Could be happening here. Also, we possibly have Beautiful Joe coming back. This is just a rumor for now, so, you know, it's kind of up in the air, but yeah, it would make me really excited. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below. So once again, 
thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.